An electrocardiogram ECG, is a graph of voltage versus time of the electrical activity of the heart using electrodes, placed on the skin. Intelligence, commitment, effort, and an organized approach are all required to master the art of ECG interpretation. In this video, you will learn that it will take time and effort to become proficient in all aspects of ECG interpretation, and it will not be simple. Some pattern recognition and memorization will be necessary. You will remember more if you see more. How to read an ECG strip ECG paper is a grid where time is measured along the horizontal axis. Each small square is 1 mm in length and represents 0.04 seconds. Each larger square is 5 mm in length and represents 0.2 seconds. Voltage is measured along the vertical axis. 10 mm is equal to 1 mV in voltage. This diagram illustrates the configuration of ECG graph paper and where to measure the components of the ECG waveform. The ECG rhythm, regular or irregular. The QRS identifies the R wave, the positive wave above the isoelectric line, baseline. Using a 6-second strip, measure the R to R intervals between QRS segments and determine if the rhythm is regular or irregular. If you notice any irregularities, diagnose any abnormalities associated with chaps, chest pain, hypotension, altered mental state, poor perfusion, or shortness of breath. Determine the heart rate. The QRS identifies the R wave, the positive wave above the isoelectric line, baseline. Using a 6-second strip, Measure the R to R intervals between QRS segments and determine if the rhythm is regular or irregular. At a paper speed of 25 mm per second, one small square equals 0.04 seconds, five small squares equals one large square equals 0.2 seconds, five large squares equals one second. ECG rhythm strip equals 250 small squares equals 50 large squares equals 10 seconds. To calculate beats per minute, BPM, 1500 small squares equals 300 large squares equals 1 minute. There are multiple methods to estimate the rate. We can calculate the beats per minute by dividing 1500 by the number of small squares between two R waves, R to R interval equals 1 beat. We can calculate the beats per minute, BPM, by dividing 300 by the number of large squares between two R waves, R to R interval equals 1 beat. Regular rhythms. Rate equals 300 per number of large squares between consecutive R waves. Very fast rhythms. Rate equals 1500 per number of small squares between consecutive R waves. Slow or irregular rhythms. Rate equals number of R waves into 6. The number of complexes, count R waves, on the rhythm strip gives the average rate over a 10 second period. This is multiplied by 6, 10 seconds into 6 equals 1 minute to give the average beats per minute. Diagnose P waves. The P wave represents the depolarization of the atria, the two upper chambers of the heart, which receive blood from the vena cava and pulmonary veins. Next, examine the P waves and answer the following questions. 1. Are P waves present? 2. If so, is each P wave followed by a QRS complex? 3. Check the P wave's duration, direction, and shape to ensure they are normal. 4. Is there any atrial activity if P waves are absent? PR interval. The PR interval is between the P wave and the beginning of the QRS segment, ventricular depolarization. The average PR interval is 0.12 to 0.20 seconds or 3 to 5 small boxes on the ECG graph paper. A prolonged PR interval suggests a delay in getting through the atrioventricular AV, node, the electrical relay system between the upper and lower chambers of the heart. Assessing a QRS complex The standard QRS segment has three graphical deflections. Width The width can be described as A narrow QRS complex, less than 0.12 seconds results in well-organized synchronized ventricular depolarization. A broad QRS complex, greater than 0.12 seconds, occurs if there is an abnormal depolarization sequence. For example, 
a ventricular ectopic where the impulse spreads slowly across the myocardium from the focus in the ventricle. Height. Height can be described as either small complexes or less than 5 mm in the limb leads, or less than 10 mm in the chest leads. Tall complexes imply ventricular hypertrophy. Algorithms can be used for measuring LVH, such as the sokolo leone Index or the Cornell Index. Morphology To assess morphology, you need to evaluate the individual waves of the QRS complex. How to evaluate the T-wave? A T-wave signifies that the ventricles have recovered or repolarized. In lead 2, it should occur after the QRS segment and be upright. Make a mental note of any T-wave differences. Inverted T-waves indicate a shortage of oxygen to the heart. Peaked T-waves suggest an excess of potassium. A deficiency of potassium is indicated by a flat T-wave and a high street segment. How to identify ectopic beats? Ectopic heartbeats are deviations from the usual rhythm of the heart. An ectopic pattern should be closely monitored by EMS staff. Premature atrial contractions, PAC, early junctional contractions, PJC, or premature ventricular contractions, PVCs, should all be closely monitored. Note down how many ectopic beats are present in an ECG, the interval of occurrence, shape, and if they appear in groups or solitary patterns. How to determine the rhythm? Consider these vital factors when documenting an ECG. Sinus. 60 to 100 beats per minute regular rhythm p waves that are upright and present before each qrs segment average pr interval normal qrs duration atrial rhythm can be regular or irregular standard qrs segment but p waves premature and occur in various shapes junctional look for a p wave of the junctional kind you can identify them as they are inverted before, during, or after a normal duration QRS segment. Ventricular. QRS segment with a broad and unusual shape and no P waves because the impulse originates below the SA node. Paced rhythm. Before the QRS segment, look for low voltage pacer spikes. The bottom line. Whether you are a medical student, an EMT or an internist in practice, or another healthcare professional, looking at the ECGs that you will encounter in everyday practice is essential. See how the ECG fits the clinical scenario. Sometimes the best way to remember an ECG finding is to associate it with an interesting case you experienced personally. It, it is strongly advised to stay up to date on your ECG interpretation skills. If you want to put your skills to the test, check out our website at dieseltherapy.com, follow our blog and social media pages, and check out our static and dynamic cardiology apps available at the Apple Store and Google Play.